Hi friends. I'm here to talk to you today again about the critical test and specifically about the typing portion. So the typing portion on the critical test is measured in different sections. For example, there are different data entry sections that will measure your keystrokes per second. But there is also in some critical tests a separate keyboarding section. So their keyboarding tests that they generally integrate into the critical test is a section of text and a section of typing. They actually, if you go to Critical's website, will give you a free sample of what it's like. And so I highly recommend going there, checking it out. And uh, we also at 901professor.com offer a completely free typing test as well. Bear in mind that both the 901 Professor one and the Critical sample test are very short. They're both like one minute typing tests. So it will give you a introductory idea of how fast you can type, but it shouldn't be used as a fulsome assessment of your typing skills. Generally speaking, I always recommend that you use a five minute time span to test your typing. Now, once you get the hang of that, I want you to also keep in mind that if you're going to be writing your critical test in a center, you're probably going to have to use a standard keyboard attached to like a regular computer, not a laptop. A lot of people now have laptops or even the keypad covers for tablets. They learn how to type on that. They have to move into a center to actually do their typing on a proper keyboard. And you know, it throws them off. It's a different uh, type of button. They're higher. The keyboard itself is going to be, um, you know, set up differently. So if you can try to practice on a regular keyboard, or if you can't do that, at least try to set your laptop up on a flat desk while you're typing and practicing typing. And finally, my big tip for the keyboarding test. So the big tip is this, use the tab key to move through the data fields in the data entry sections. So what I mean by this is when you get into your data entry screens, you're going to see this. Sure, you can use your mouse to click on different data fields and type in answers. But using the tab key as opposed to clicking places is going to be a lot faster. So you can just do one click of a tab key will take you to the next field or shift and tab will take you backwards through the fields. So tabbing through or shift tabbing backwards is going to take you through these uh, different data entry fields. Now, not only is this faster and the way that most 911 dispatchers work, uh, it also gives you more points. And what a lot of people don't realize is that an extra keystroke is given for tab and shift tabbing through the fields. So you technically, even if you could click faster with the mouse, you're technically going to get more keystroke points for using the tab keys. Also, I mean the tab keys, uh, it's what most 911 dispatchers use anyway. They are faster to navigate through data fields. So that's my tip on keyboarding and the critical test.